That's not what he's in there anymore. But yeah. It's like a tilly lamp or something. Yeah, it's like yeah. somebody's swaying lamp walking up the tracks. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's like a flame from the bottom. Yeah. Now the camera I think it was recording then just switch itself off. Oh the years ago then. Oh years? Yeah. Blinking, you'll miss it. Did you see it? Well, I looked at camera just as it. Yeah. Look here. See it there then? Something run across. Let's see if I can pause it. Uh, there. You're all right, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's only small. Is Not it clear. hunched over though? There it is. Can you it's see a monk, that. Yeah, we will. Right, go on, Nick. So, this is where I was stood after we did something grunted over that wall. And I came over with my torch and was shining down. And I could hear something rustling over here. So I panned my torch over and it wasn't as overgrown. And there was that's where I saw this, this pale figure on its hands and knees. And as I shone my torch at it and looked at it for a second, it kind of turned its head and it looked like it was about to stand up and that was when I bolted. I jumped in the car and it was safe to say we didn't come back here for about two, three weeks. It put, it put me off investigating and that is the gospel truth. Whatever I saw that night, there it was. See the path here? Where they're coming down? Yeah. So you've got the bit of a dirt path in front of Jess there. Yeah. It came out of there. Right, from here into the path. So where's the one where uh, Emma saw what? They're here, the boys. Hey up! Oh goo! Well hello, how are you doing? You alright? Just on the brew, just on the brew. Welcome to Staffordshire. As you can see, the new one's coming, the flag's flying. Um, yeah, so uh, like I said, we've arranged it with the other girls group to come down and that's what we're doing this weekend. Uh, we're not far away from Alton Towers and I'm sure you've heard of that. Uh, yeah, so I'm just uh, waiting for my tea to be on the jet boiler, having a cup of tea um, and then uh, I'm waiting for the others to arrive because I'm the first one here. So hey ho, so let's see what tonight has in store. Gonna be a good one, trust me. By the way, it was absolutely thundering and lightning, torrential rain when I set off. Um, but now it's sun shining, so that's what the shades are for. They were on, now they're off, but it looks like blue skies are coming, so they might be back on. Well, hello, you all right, viewers and subscribers. How we doing? You all well? Great to see you. Um, right, what happened at Alton Towers? Now, uh, I know it's been a bit of a break. I know Leon's got his video out um, impressively quick last week, um, followed by Mick McLaren, and I'm following suit by following Mick with my video. Well, I'm going to do a little bit different, to be honest, because uh, really it's not that good, to be fair. And I just do not know why. Um, but that's why I'm doing it a little bit different and we all like different but this is a, a different as in things didn't go right um, but uh, what I'll do I'll keep popping in through the video and explain um, what was happening through the night um, because like I said the footage on Summer Man we don't know why it's just so strange it's uh, a bit peculiar to be honest but basically um, Alton, yeah, uh, so what happened at Alton, or what didn't happen at Alton? Well, basically, um, I was the first one there, and uh, I arrived about three quarters an hour before anybody else. 
Um, so I just had a cup of tea, as you've seen, and uh, a little bit of tea as well. Uh, rung Mick and Cooch up. They were three quarters of an hour away. Rung uh, Leon and Spiro. They were about ten minutes away, so they arrived first. And uh, yeah, so you'll see from the video that, uh, like I say, I had my shades on, but then. I don't know if it was Leon or Spiro brought the bad weather with them, um, but as soon as they opened the boot of their car, it started to pour down. Um, so we actually put the boots, well, the cars side by side, so the boots were up, they were both hatchbacks, and we were talking, um, but it came in that bad um, that it was coming in from the sides. Um, but in the meantime, Mick and Cooch had actually pulled up and left the cab further down the lane and jumped in with me uh, while we were all talking. But we ended up, we moved. Um, we moved a little bit further down under a tree canopy. It was like a little bit of forest country road. And uh, basically, um, we put our boots together this time. And uh, we were chatting along and then uh, Leon decided to um, get his little Marley fingers out and... <laughs> What he was trying to do was trying to do the right thing is to save the battery with the boot open, but he actually shorted the actual light, getting it out on the body of the car and blew a fuse. But we didn't know at the time. So basically, that's why, um, I mean, then roughly, it was roughly about, what time would it have been? About eight o'clock. And Nick said he was arriving with a team beyond the realm of the paranormal. Um, they came in one car and uh, they arrived about uh, half past eight. So I said to Nick, come on, it's half now. What are we doing? Are we, what's happening about the live stream after we'd introduced ourselves to each other? And uh, I said, what do you want to do? And some said, look, let's put the actual gazebos, which are brought in my car, at the side of the road here and let's do the live stream. And it was, it was, was it bad. It was bad weather. Um, even though they were under a load of trees and it was damp, everything was wet through and um, one of us said, well, how far is Alton from here? So uh, Nick said, it's about five minutes, if that. So I said, well, I'll tell you what, let's go to the actual tunnel at the abandoned station set up there. So I turned round, set off. Mick and Caroline turned round and set off and then uh, followed by uh, Beyond the Realm of the Paranormal, Nick and his team. So when we were getting uh, closer through uh, Farley, which drops into Alton, um, I, I experienced something which, I mean, you'll see later on in the video, I'll explain. It was the strangest thing. Um, but uh, anyway, when we actually landed at Alton, there was three cars. Um, but where's the fourth? So I rung Leon and I said, where are you? He said, basically, we broke down. I said, fantastic. Well, Leon and Spiro had all the live stream video equipment in the car. So I said, right, okay, I'll head back. I said, we'll all head back and we'll see if we can, you know, sort it. Anyway, we got there, we were mooching about, but you've got to understand it was really bad rain. Now, we were on the right lines of saying it was a fuse in the fuse box of Leon's car. But maybe if we'd been a bit longer and it weren't raining, we could have found out what it was. But we ended up, we just said, look, let's bite the bullet, leave the car. Let's go, you know, let's start investigating. We're wasting the night away. Yeah, we've missed the live stream already. Um, so that's what we did. But unknown to us, uh, Nick says, well, what we'll do, we'll start at Cotton uh, College in the cemetery, which is where we were in the tree canopy when we were first waiting for him. Um, when we had our boots together and uh, you know we started from there basically so what I'll do I'll let you um, watch on and um, I'll just go through a little bit more as we're going through the video because you'll understand why when you start watching the video okay enjoy and I'll speak to you soon Well, hello, are you doing your alright? We're not, we've had a car brought down. So, when you see this, you'll know there was no live stream and that's why. Well, hello, 
like I said, I'll keep bobbing in and run you through it. But basically, you've heard straight away that the sound is absolutely terrible. Now, you've got Mick McLaren recording and you've also got Leon recording. Now, the sound is absolutely crystal clear. Clear as a bell. Um, if you've seen their videos, you'll understand that this is why I'm running it through you. Because my audio has picked something up which we can't understand. Um... It's like a typewriter. I even thought, is it something to do with Morse code? Um, it's it's very, very strange. It's never happened before. I know it was raining, but um, the thing is as well, five minutes down the road, not long after, um, we were at uh, Alton Station and the sound was fine. You know, you've heard it already where Nick's actually shining in uh, spotlight over his you know onto the actual bushes where we actually he saw something a pale grey figure come out of the trees it's perfect so we just can't understand why round you know cotton college and cemetery it was it was so bad um i have actually sent a sample off to uh chris turner and chris has sent that analysis off to a sound technician um, but Chris's cell says it's very, very strange, very, very strange indeed. Um, so probably in a wit news, I will find out more and let you know what the actual technician says about it. But like I said, it just it baffles us to be fair. Um, so I do apologise for the sound, but we just don't know why. But uh, I wanted to show you, and then you actually know what actually was happening that night. So yeah, so. Keep enjoying and keep watching. Um, Leon and Spiro's car broke down, so we ended up round about that time. We've met up with Nick, as you've seen, and uh, brilliant in all our stream. But uh, we've had a few issues already. Um, but uh, we were actually parked up, we were in the, near the meeting place, and one of the cars didn't follow us. So we actually went to our Dalton itself. But when I was going into Alton, I have never felt anything not not strong but strange. All the front of my face was tingling and I had a banging headache at the back of my head and I've never had that and I don't have trouble from headaches. And when I mentioned it to Nick, Nick says it's funny she said that because there is something and it is very strange indeed. So we're just going over to Cotton Cemetery through the woods and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So I'll speak to you soon. Keep tuning in. And straight off down there where the rocks are. We've got that big rock down there on there. So we start to the bar in the right, don't look at me on the road. Yeah, and this, people say that's meant to be the ghost of the monk with the lantern, so people have said. And we have seen an orange light, but we didn't, we didn't really go over, did we? And it, it did vanish after about 10-15 minutes. And there was so. no sticky holes in the light? No, no, it was, so, as far as you can see that, down, it? Yeah. it was about this high off the ground. Yeah. And we saw it coming up and it stopped on the bend down there. Yeah. And it just kind of fizzled out, it's just gone. It's just no one's right, it's just... It's all like the stones that we've had thrown off this one. It's definitely something, it's just, it's, it's, as soon as you come round and start mooching round you can feel something all the time now, I'm feeling everything. Is that, is that one to come down the way? Yeah, I am. See, that's the feeling I got when I was coming down from Farley then, down the hill. I felt something like there's been a battle, a big battle here or something. I don't know why, it's funny you should say that then. Mm. 
Yeah. Well, that yeah. sensation, I've never felt that before. Just all the front of my face, it's like somebody just drawn a circle around it and just it was just static. I was like, what the hell? And then I go banging head at the back of my head. Yeah, I'm glad you felt that, to be fair. Because it's pretty much everything that we've had when we've been devastated going out and wanted. Mm. I don't know why. It's a place where you can go to and you won't come away when it's angry. There's always something going on. Yeah, it's, it's very strange. Yeah. I was telling you, you were well about that there. Sound of the train, of course. And the stuff. Yeah, I watched that. It's on a live feed. Did you get so. the line? Mm. Yeah, yeah, there was just there. Yeah, I the think there was one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah there was, yeah. Right, at the bottom end of the track, yeah. I remember. Yeah. Mm. But that's something we've never been able to explain. That it's crazy. And I think it was 65. 1965. Yeah. I think it opened in 18. 70, I want to say. 18, <laughs> what, that, the, the station? Yeah. It was about 1864, I think. Yeah. 1864, I think it was. Yeah. It's changed names as well. It was opened as Alton, and then it was changed um, to Alton Towers. Yeah. And Alton as well was originally known as Alberton. Mm. Mm. The village changed its name as well hundreds of years ago. So, yeah. Really interesting place, don't we? That's a lot to be honest. Oh, okay. Staffordshire um, Council Trust on that now. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, what was that? Where did you do a lights out? Do you want to do a lights out? Yes. Well, let's do a lights out. <laughs> Hello again. Yeah, so uh, please comment below on what do you think the actual interference of the video, what the camera picks up, because, you know, it's just baffling us. Um, and it's strange that none of the other two films uh, in the footage have caught anything, like I said, from Mick McLaren and Leon. It just baffles us. Um, so, yeah, comment below. Give us a rough idea what you're all thinking while you're watching this. Um, I do apologise for the bad footage, but, you know, there's nothing you can do. Um, but, uh, right, we'll press on with the video. And uh, basically what happened is then we moved on a little bit through a bit of a path going up through a country road, um, which goes up to Cotton College and Cemetery. But we stopped briefly uh, why Nick was telling us about this all... Um, it was like a, a a field, like waist high grass, um, but they said they saw a figure um, kind of moving around. And I said, did you hear anything? And he said, no. I said, well, there's your answer. You know, waist high grass, you, you, you'd you be able to hear something. He said, yeah, it was like a figure just like, you know, moving about. And on the spirit talker, it come up, it was a female dancing. So make of it what you will. So yeah, so uh, we actually pressed on a little bit more and uh, you'll see what happened to us next. Keep it. We were down here one night and there was a, I can only describe that, was a lantern, don't you? It was like a lantern, I believe. And it was on the corner here and it came past the first few trees and then just, just fizzled, it just vanished. So we went back up to the car got in, drove down, and there was nobody, nobody about, and there was, there was nowhere for nobody to go either. Is that a dead end down there? No. So, if you go down there, you've got Cotton College and Cotton Cemetery. Yeah. And then, you keep going further, and you've got a couple of houses and a farm, and it becomes more of a country road again, but looking around. Yeah. So it just takes you to different villages. Mm. Yeah, can be, yeah. Yeah, just Nick's explaining there, but we wanted a lights out session, so we've got a lights out session, so that's why there's no uh, light on, because we're just trying to catch something if we can in the dark, so yeah, stick with Very active here. 
um, everybody's feeling something very strong here um, and we've actually uh, I've got spirit talkers on and it's just asked me what my name is my name is Lee what's yours uh, no we just come up here we split into twos so there was another group in front of us and uh, we've just heard a deep growl and the it's like a country road, it's like a country lane. Um, you've heard it, and Leon might have it on to recording. He doesn't know yet, he's just going to check, but it's definitely something strange here. It's some really, really strong. Um, but yeah, we've heard a growl, but I didn't tell us further back. But, you don't know, they've heard the growl twice apparently. But um, I'm not going to get myself, but keep eating. It's definitely something to me, it's very. I can't put my finger on it. It's something, um, if it's not attaching. Um, right. Um, yeah, so. I'm just keep hearing strange noises everywhere, but. Of course, I forgot to say as well, it's absolutely pouring, pouring down. It's pouring down here, that's another reason. But, uh, yeah, we're pressing on anyway, so keep uh, tuned in. It's very active indeed. I wish you lot could feel it, to be honest. It's an amazing feeling, but very strange at the same time. It's very hard to explain to the first. Over there, and then I'll just shout out a thing while he's speaking. And then I'll just put it on the thing there. Right, go on. So, this yeah. church was part of Cotton College, and behind it, yeah, that, and so on, all the way back. Yeah. There's the ruins of Cotton College, um, and we have had quite a lot of stuff here, to be fair. There's a woman that lives down. There behind it, she's like the caretaker of the, the grounds. How? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's a phenomenal place for Well, hello again. Right, you've just seen me and Nick at the actual main gates to Cotton college and cemetery and uh, we were talking away and uh, he was telling me about the history of the place and uh, I don't know why but because of my uh, big torch um, I had it shining for a few good minutes around to you know find out uh, the actual place because we've never been before um, to just pick up you know uh, what's actually happening uh, on site and you can see from the board at the side there's not much and it's been converted i think it's listed if i'm right in saying that uh, it's a listed buildings so i think the fan it had to just keep you know you can't keep building um day by day i think when the listed buildings you have to get full permission to use the right brickwork and whatnot so nick had actually said that the building stuff had never moved for about five years so we don't know what's going on to be honest now, apart from uh, a couple who live there with Nan Dobermans and a house right near the college and cemetery, uh, there's nobody about. Uh, like I said, there was about three cars what passed us all night on that country road. Um, so, you know, it's a very, very quiet area. But you'll see uh, from the next footage that when me and Nick were kind of trail behind because we were talking the group were a bit in front and they had to spotted something in the distance in the field and it ended up when we got the pulsar out and the psionics it was a horse in the distance but it did look peculiar from a distance but me and Nick, <coughs> me and Nick sorry were stood together and we were just off this um, kind of man-made fence it's like an artificial builder's uh, fence what they've just put up uh, to stop people getting in and uh, it backs onto a graveyard and we had uh, a stone thrown at us and it was quite uh, a substantial stone as well because Mick's actual footage uh, picked it up as well so if you've not seen Mick McLaren's footage on Alton 
watch it and you'll hear the actual stone hit the fence. Uh, but yeah, so carry on watching and find out more. Yeah, um, we've just come past, as you've seen on the video then, uh, I've just shut the actual camera down and me and Nick were walking together and uh, this fence here, I just had a stone thrown at it. Just had a stone thrown at it. Just turn the camera off and it just threw a stone at it and I don't know, it's from a you can see it's from the graveyard side so something and more or less straight after as well um, we had go away on the spirit talker so something's not happy somewhere I'm kicking off here, I'll tell you. No, I'm glad. Tactical's anything. But it was definitely a storm. In fact, if we come back this way, I might try and climb over the, the wall. And, uh, what you mean? I might try and climb over the wall and see if I can see it because it's there again the on the floor. There's a team to have read, I don't know if you can see them up, I'm just picking them up. Should be able But before, when we first met Nick, um, he said that he has had rocks thrown at him, like stones and pebbles. Right, so that's the chip what's about in the video. I'm sure it is. I bet you tend to a penny when I put this. This game, something else will happen. Tend to a penny if I put this camera down, something else will happen. through the bars of the gates here but that's uh, Cotton College and like Nick says it's uh, a really um, big place to be honest but it's all cameraed up and everything so and you can see security on it and there's actually a woman who lives at the back um, and she you know has about nine adult women so, yeah. so I think we're going to head back now Sorry, I think we're going to head back now. And, uh, she, uh, speak of the devil. She can review the dog's back and then the next one we'll go and see if it tell her. Actually, going back into the churchyard now. I 
I'm sure this is the church mate that's on the video that they did. You know the black and white one when it comes on. Done it. It's got to be. Yeah, watch that one. I watched it on the side. This is the church as well. I don't think you've seen any of Nick's videos. This is the church where they caught a shadow of people in the window. Um, and uh, Cooch has just walked up to the door and uh, she thought she had some bit of clean or something so it's really active isn't it? Really I think um, Nick's just having a word with uh, the woman at the back. I'm sorry, she's just going to keep on her own and kind of speak for him. The dogs, he's got my hand all bones, like I said, they're, they're kicked off, he's done and look at the world. Even the sheep are kicking off as well now. No. Okay, I'm back. Right, this is just a bit of a warning, warning with anybody who's afraid of spiders, anybody with arachnophobia, please look away for these next few seconds. Uh, if you don't mind spiders, then watch. Okay, people. Well, I'm just saying to these, I've been to Australia. And... Oh, yeah, they're crumpled, aren't they? A little bit. Well, they're crumpled until you see an unction spider run across back at Tally. Yeah, they're really narrow, a little bit big, them, aren't they? Yeah, we do it when we get out of here, so I see. That's what we're doing, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, with the woman, the, the dogs and everything. Yeah, I 
So you don't eat them in. Yeah. Yeah, so we were saying the builders on board, they like they were obviously doing the work. And at the front of the building, one of the builders called the manager and said, You don't have to go up and get that lady out to like the what lady. I think it comes up to the third floor. And he said, Well, there's no floor, there's no floorboards at all gone. And this builder saw this woman in the window and he refused to go back and wait there. And that was his food in there? Yeah, one of them windows up there. That's like an attic, can it? Oh, just a bit lower down. Oh, but right at top. Right at the top. Well, that's more like an attic, isn't it? It was either there or the building that's the other way around, but it was in the window and it came down after. And he said there's a woman in the building. So there's no floorboards there? Not that high up, I believe. There is on the middle floor. It's an amazing place. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, yeah so let's uh, press on with the video. Um, we're about to leave uh, Cotton uh, College and Cemetery. Uh, you've just heard Nick say about the builder who saw the woman up in the top floor window. Um, but uh, all coming to all, there's no floorboards. So uh, obviously we only can suggest that it's one thing. It's a ghost. So yeah, so like I said, we went back to the cars and we headed towards Alton. So, uh, yeah, but you'll actually see as well that the actual sounding goes absolutely perfect, which we just can't understand. But, yeah, keep watching. So, this is where I was stood after we did some grunting over that wall. And I came over with my torch and was shining down and I could hear some rustling over here. So I panned my torch over and it wasn't as overgrown and there was that's where i saw this this pale figure on its hands and knees and as i shone my torch at it and looked at it for a second it kind of turned its head and it looked like it was about to stand up and that was when i bolted i jumped in the car and it was safe to say we didn't come back here for about two three weeks he put, he put me off investigating and that is the gospel truth whatever i saw that night there it was. See the path here? Where they're coming down? Yeah. So you've got the bit of a dirt path in front of Jess there. Yeah. It came out of there, right from here into the path. So where's the one where uh, Emma saw what, what the, was exactly the same sighting, more or less, the same, same person? Where the pub is and all the noise is, there's a road that runs a really, you know, like a, a small narrow country road called Red Road that runs all the way through the woods and up into Oakamore and she said she saw something that was pale and long run across the road in front of her car. What about that apparition that I thought walking across the road as well? What's that doing? We're going to have to try and show you that because I think that could be it. She has caught a really tall figure on video that crosses the road and vanishes. But it looks mm. at the camera, you can see its eyes reflecting in the light. It's tall, and it looked like it had a bit of a hunch. Mm. Have you got the video? I've not got it on my phone. I believe it is on the page. Is it on, on the, the YouTube? YouTube? I think it is. If it is, it might be on the short note. Let me see. Now the camera was recording there, it just switched itself off. Oh, my ears are going. Oh! Your ears? Yeah. And there is a tunnel. You're not going to get to it without being wet. But round the back of here, there's a bolted on cage door. And it looks like it goes down and under here. Never been in. That might be something to do with Castle, is it? Mm, could be. 
this thing came out of Ely. Is it a castle on top of the hill? Yeah. Here it come out of. This is where it was when I was seeing it when I was up there. Mm. But all this down here is just woodlands. And if you keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going, it takes you to the chained oak. There's a little rock pool as well. If you go down, it's on your left. There's, mm. little... There's a bed and breakfast near that chained oak tree, isn't there? Mm. Yeah, yeah, there is. You can smell the wild garlic. Yeah. Damn, I couldn't believe I can't get here for live speed. Oh, what's that from? Oh, Sig, smell strawberries. Oh, that'll be uh, spirit. <clears throat> That's sick to get the thingy out. The, uh... Let's see if we can get anything. So that's a wrap as they call it it's the end of the show unfortunately the end of the film but i weren't going to show you because i think the footage is really bad but there again it comes across to you as well what nick and the team have actually seen beyond the realm of the paranormal you must go and subscribe uh, they've caught a lot of stuff if you go over and have a look on film uh, me and mick are racking our brains wondering why they don't get the views but they've got like so many subscribers. I mean, Mick said it might be something that they've been shadowed out. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so um, I apologise again against the footage. But uh, I'm going to try and invest in a new camera. And, you know, things should only get better from there, really. Um, but yeah, any um, comments, please leave below. Um, sorry it's late again, this video. Um, and apologies for the footage again but uh, I wanted you to see what we actually caught that night uh, and to tell a few more stories um, but on that note thanks for watching thanks for subscribing um, I have got a new few more subscribers which I'm going to name in the next wit news which will be very soon so keep tuned in keep watching wit and let's see if we can get some more answers but it's only with people like you, we will. So thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.